the Koreans' rise to the top is an interesting story. Usually if a nation wants to make it big in fencing, they import coaches from already successful countries. For example, the Chinese hired Christian Bauer from France. And there are many Eastern European coaches in America. But the Koreans have become dominant in Sabre without importing foreign talent. The first generation of successful Korean Sabre fencers emerged in the 2000s. In the 2000s, Sabre was a lot slower off the line. This was partly due to referees putting more emphasis on the arm extension, rather than who was faster with the feet. The fence was stronger, since referees were more likely to punish fencers for any hesitations on the attack. This meant that attacks fell short more, as people didn't want to get too close before finishing. Korean Sabre is generally characterized by three main aspects. Incredible speed off the line. Amazing flexibility and huge lunges. Skipping, or bouncing, long attacks. The earlier generation of Koreans used these things in a more subtle way. And whilst they weren't the dominating team there today, they consistently won medals. The biggest result was Won Woo Young's 2010 World Championship victory. Gradually Sabre had begun to speed up, and by 2010 there was a lot less waiting on the line. Gu Bong Dil was one of the pioneers of the fast start. His performance at the 2010 Budapest World Cup showcase what the future of Sabre would look like. His incredibly aggressive starts and ruthless attacks tore through a difficult draw to make it to the final, winning his first of many World Cup medals. In the 2010s the Koreans went from a respectable squad to a Sabre superpower. But 
how much of the Korean success can be attributed to their style of fencing. Saber changed a lot in the last two decades, and Korean innovation has definitely played a part. The fencers from other countries changed a lot also. For example, Apity's early success relied heavily on very fast attacks. And Sid used skips throughout his whole career. Many of the things that may once have been described as Korean are just part of the meta now. Like flexibility. And bouncing long attacks. There is also a lot of variation between Korean fencers. There are no superior styles or systems in fencing, only what works for the individual. There is no secret ingredient.